Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Lone Echo 2. We're back here, back in time. Uh, is that thing hurting me? I don't know. We can see it clearly. Uh, we have to talk to her and tell her that we're ready to do whatever it is she wanted to do. And it looks like there's another unit there. Uh, what if we're gonna use that? Hey, what's up? I'm ready Let's or whatever. Begin. Very well. Your new shell is right over there. Yeah, that's me. Okay. My new shell. Protocol dictates we should place the assessment data in the most secure storage solution available, tier 6 or higher. That Series 11 shell should do nicely. Looks good. That should make waiting for the Ithaca far simpler. Can't see you. Understood, 6. I will transfer when ready. I just hit a button, right? Hit a button? I'll further optimization of the beacon in the meantime. I'll prepare the transfer. Initiate through your arm computer Yeah, yeah, yeah. We always do that. We just leave this shell here like a b oh whoa. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up? Transfer appears complete. Please confirm thirteen. Pretty good. Uh, yes. Affirmative, Delta Six. Transfer complete. Acknowledged. You are now integrated into the activation base power grid, which I have connected to a mobile reactor. It should provide ample power for both you and the beacon, especially once you've oh, your hibernation protocol. I will do my best to keep you and the power supplies. Or my safe. scanner. Acknowledged. Delta Six, will you let me know if the anomaly reappears? Peculiar. Very prudent. Very well. Initiate hibernation when ready. I've set the protocol for timed disengagement so that we may awaken for the Ithaca's approximate arrival. Excellent. It is unlikely anyone else will arrive in the meantime. Indeed. Ready when you are, Jack. Dude, we're a piece of mail. Good luck, Delta 13. Okay, I think this is exactly the same what we used to have in the first Just game. Just recognized. Yeah. Peace. Peace, peace out. There is dark in here. I think we're supposed to see that. That's like, uh... I don't know, however. As long as there's power, right? All right, time is going. It's been a week, two weeks, space weeks, three space weeks, uh, a long ass time, a whole month. Really, really long. Oh, we got woken up or something. Something happened. Vessel entering Saturn orbit. Ithaca. Preparing for course correction burn. Destination Earth. Earth. Exit transmission. You can scrub your inertia here, or you can uh, get more of the Earth effect. It appears the radiation has not yet subsided. Unless Delta Six managed to improve the beacon, the Ithaca will not be warned. Delta Six, this is Delta Thirteen. What is your status? Delta Six, status. Yeah. I'm not picking them up on sensors either. However, there is a high gain broadcast coming through. From the Ithaca. I'll patch it in. Ithaca automated nav transponder. Correction, burn initiating. Three, two, one. Oh shit, that's them. Over there. The vessel is passing by on its way to Earth. Then, as anticipated, the beacon has failed. Effectively, we are witnessing the origin of the biomass outbreak. Correct. This does appear to be the final moment from which the ensuing series of events could be changed. A tipping point, if you will. Well, we shouldn't have slept so damn long. What should we do now? Without Delta-6, delivering our data on the base genetic material is far less tenable. How so? Simply put, we are back to not knowing what happens next. An Atlas team could arrive within the hour, or within a year. Or never. Precisely. Delta-6 would have been able to assist such a team in finding us while we're in hibernation. 
but without that we must err on the side of extreme caution. How long can we remain in hibernation? The main issue is the lifespan of that mobile reactor. At current operation, it should last roughly 50 years. If we were to minimize the beacon's output, we could last roughly 500 years. But then I doubt anyone would find us. I agree. The odds of someone discovering us would be quite low. But what if someone knew to look? If they wouldn't give up on looking? Captain Rhodes. Exactly. If we hibernate until 2537... She will search for us once we fail to return. In fact, if we altered the beacon's message to one she would uniquely recognize... And time its broadcast to resume when she would start searching... Then we should be easily found, with power to spare. Pausing beacon now. I'll set it to resume shortly after when we would have disappeared. Beacon I set. The I'm next getting... time we awaken, it should be due to Captain Rhodes having received our message. I'm getting confused about all the time Initiate stuff. Initiate hibernation when you're ready. But, uh, whatever they said, I'm sure it makes sense. We didn't go in some weird time loop. Um, it all makes sense. It, it, man, time travel doesn't make sense unless it's like separate universes. This isn't that, so it doesn't make sense. My controller's here. Uh, we're on the Quest 2 right now. I, uh, packed up the Quest 3 to, to play at home. I forgot to bring the controllers. <laughs> you know what? Let's face, uh, whichever way. Okay, now we're really waiting a long time. Earth has been quarantined. Shit happened. Passage to and from is prohibited until further notice. Damn it, we're using energy. Jack. Hey, the rods are gone. Message to all colonies. Do not. I repeat, do not attempt passage to Earth. Any and all traveling vessels avert course to your nearest off-world settlement. All passage to and from Earth is prohibited until further notice. It's a distress call from Earth. And not the only one. I'm intercepting countless transmissions from ships disobeying orders. Fleeing Earth. The infection is spreading. Indeed. The outbreak is already well underway. We should conserve energy, Jack. Reinitiate hibernation when you're yep. ready. Yeah. Yeah, baby, yeah. We'll do what we can. Even if it's not, uh, the nick of time. Oh my god. Yeah, we are time traveling. <laughs> I'd rather take a wicked dump when we wake up. Dang it! Oh crap, now what? I really need to get out of this pod. Apollo, what is happening? We're passing through a debris cloud. It is mostly comprised of smaller particulates of rock and ice. But the sensors indicate a denser cluster on collision course. Can you estimate the severity of the impact? There is a high probability of collision, however. The trajectory places the affected area outside our immediate position. 
we will experience some impact traps, but this bay should provide an adequate protection. Damn it! I can't get out of this pod. Oh, there it is! Giant rock! Gonna suck. Whoa! Star Trek shaking. Okay. Ah, we're still shaking. Ah. Whoa! Whoa! It's really rough. Tremors subsiding. Minimal damage to the activation bay. Uh oh. You were saying. The impact appears to have destroyed the mobile reactor. Damn. What are our options with limited power? I now estimate we will fall short of reaching Dr. Harlan's time by nearly a century. Our only option now is to initiate a complete shutdown, to leave all remaining power for the beacon when it restarts in Harlan's time. Yeah. Is there no other way to provide sufficient power? Negative. With the reactor destroyed, I believe this is our only option. But as long as the distress call reaches the doctor and captain, they can retrieve this shell and transfer your preserved memory core. Good luck, Jack. Disabling all non-essential subsystems. Goodbye. Damn it. Apollo. My heart is orange. He's gone. Yeah, we're gone. Complete shutdown. Well, almost. Not nope, complete. Yep, it's pretty dark. Initialized neural matrix transfer. Verify the hardware connection. Okay, mapping core protocols to target. How much longer? The Live? transfer should go much faster now that we finally isolated his core you know. Atlas Intelligence Systems. Artificial Neural Matrix version 11. The thing's spinning around my head. One, two. Initialize boot sequence. Apart to the Matrix. Hey! Jack? It's me. Liv. Liv? Yeah, it's me. Your skin looks Everything's so smooth right. and perfect. You're back on Holland's ship. The scan data. Did you? Yeah. We got it. Wait, am Dr. I me? I'm me again. The lab what developing a countermeasure. Been up there for hours now. I think you gave him a lot to unpack. You did good, Jack. Come on out. We'll see Close. how it's going. Close call. Uh, we can still do this. If we want to... Because I found the one. I never found it. We can, uh, stand up. The anomaly. It collapsed. Yes, we suspect it as such. I don't know what happened. But it was us. We fried the FPL. We wanted to give you as much time as we could. Oh, shit. But we let it run too hot for too long. Uh... It appears they've already started another test. We'll have to wait until they finish. Right. I spotted a thing through the door. When it happened. Huh. You know... When the FGL collapsed, I, I thought... Thought I was gone? You thought I wasn't coming back? Yeah. So did I. Yeah, that's what we all thought. I was almost okay. You know, with being stuck in this crappy future. Oh, come on. So long as it was you and me. But when I saw that FTL burn out and you didn't come back, just don't ever do that to me again. I'll do my best. Stand by. I'll unseal the door. Point three seven angstroms. Affirmative. Stand by. Hello. Dr. Harlan? 
Ah, uh, you here? I am. Uh, about Doctor, the cure. How is the cure progressing? Quickly. I was right. The data you captured in the past was precisely what we needed to complete the gene sequence. We're running one more test to be sure. But I think we may have a solution. That was fast. From where I'm sitting, it's about four centuries overdue. I would think by now we can all agree time is a relative construct. Where are you? What's that? New parameters are set. Oh. We're ready to run the next test. Do it. Give me real-time status for the monitors. This is it. It died. We did it. Did got it. Treatment successful. Hoggers. It worked. Hoggers. Just yes. like that. It's right there on the monitor. It's Zero that's dead biomass. We did it. So ugly. Congratulations, <laughs> Doctor. We should refrain from celebrating just yet. We still need to determine how the treatment affects human subjects. You really think there's that big of a risk? They're looking where it's he possible. is. We he's like for certain until above we conduct the ceiling. A test. I can't stick my head through there to see him. I bet he's really there. It's off screen. Juno, prep the bio bed. I'll feed you the parameters. Affirmative, Doctor. What do you think you're doing? Taking my medicine. Shouldn't we at least discuss it first? There is no discussion. <laughs> I have to be the one. Chasing down this cure. Yeah, we don't have any guinea pigs. Nice work. Right. And if something goes wrong, we're going to need your brain to fix it. Captain Rhodes is right, Doctor. If that you is die, true. no one here would be able to carry on your work. It's got to be me. I agree. Liv is the more rational choice. However, under the circumstances, I find myself compelled to ignore rationality. It's okay, Jack. This is the right call. Do not retract the emitter. Tell me how this is going to work. They expose the biomass in your system to a low-level energy pulse of a very specific wavelength. Absorbing this energy will effectively terminate the biomass's metabolic processes causing it to wither and die. Think of it like a self-destruct command embedded in the biomass's base DNA. Whoever designed it knew what they were creating and wanted a way to stop it if it ever got out of control. Is this going to hurt? If I said yes, would it change your mind? <laughs> okay. Let's do it. I want to take a moment to triple check the math before we begin. Whatever they you have to do. I'll let you know when we are ready. Do you know? You gotta have some place yes, to pressurize. Course. How else could Can you I like, take a shower? Come here. Give me your hand. Ugh. It's okay to be scared. I wanna read the monitor. Uh you forget. I'm incapable of being scared. Could have fooled me. Uh huh. Jack, look at me. You're metabolizing. This is going to work. <laughs> oh God! Now don't you start. Go on. It'll be all right. Captain Rhodes, we're ready if you are. I'm good. Oh. Let's go. Confirmed. Initiating counterpart mission. Now. Experiment. Oh. It's all right. I'm okay. <laughs> Vital signs are stable. Metabolic pathways in the infected cells are failing. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. <laughs> oh. Cellular saturation in ten seconds. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah. Looking better. Yeah, I'm good. Five seconds. Three. 
two, one. That's it. You're good. No, are you all right? I'll say one thing. I'm never going to complain about those fabricators again. Well, what's yeah, the story? It, stay in your suit. Did it work? Don't get infected. Go ahead. Kill her. It worked, bitch. Uh. Infection cleared. Oh my god. All traces of the biomass forms have been neutralized. Apollo, is it acceptable to celebrate now? It certainly appears so, yes. Hog. Hoggies. Poggers. Harlan, I... Thank you. Aww. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, like, I'm not touching the woman. I didn't touch her, she so did it. <laughs> we're just floating here, do you mind if we keep walking? <laughs> now that we know the counterpass works, we should start working on better ways to administer it. Uh, Harlan? We you don't want to do that? Focused and wide dispersion methods. Dr. Just do Harlan. it. Let's draw up some schematics. Feed them to the fabricators. I already have a number of ideas that I think Dr. could serve. Dr. Harlan. What? The treatment, Harlan. You still have to undergo the Yeah, you're the procrastinating. Procedure. Right. Yes, of course. Juno, can you prep the bed for another dispersion? It's already done. Very well. Just as bad as she is. Was. Would you like Jack to hold your hand as well? Start <laughs> the procedure. Very well. Stand by. Nyong. <laughs> Harlan, are you all right? <clears throat> Juno. Vitals nominal. Blood pressure slightly elevated, but still within acceptable limits. <laughs> Heart rate 103 and rising. Harlan. Uh oh. <laughs> Going. Blood pressure spiking. Oh, no. Ten seconds to sell your saturation. Send me through. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Shut down. Vital stabilizing. <sighs> that just turned it on. I've had worse experiences. Though at the moment I can't really think of any. Holland. What? Captain Rhodes? What is it? What's wrong? It didn't work. The biomass survived the treatment. Harlan. I... Juno, get me out of here. I'll reset the bio bed. We can try again. No. Perhaps the metrics were somehow altered between the two tests. Juno. Or maybe some cases simply require more than one cycle before clearing. Juno, stop. This isn't right. The treatment should have cleared both of us. Apollo. Yes, Doctor. The biomass sample we were testing earlier, where was it from? That particular sample was extracted from the wreckage of the Astraea. So it was the more primitive strain. That is correct. I need a specimen from this time period. Something off the station. I believe there is a sample from the research facility already seated in the cradle. Rotate the sample into position. Affirmative. What the hell? All right, run the test again. Same parameters as before. Understood. Ready to execute. Do it. The sample is withering. Wait. Oh, but it came back. Treatment ineffective. Yeah, you don't say. The biomass from this time period must have developed some form of inherent resistance to the treatment. That would be my conclusion as well. The treatment eliminates the biomass from the past. But any form from this time period, it will only paralyze. Though at the moment, I can only speculate as to why this might be the case. 
It's because it evolved. The biomass in the astrea is still developing, still vulnerable. But the strain from this time period has been running rampant for four centuries. Nora was right. There really is no stopping it. The biomass really evolves that quickly. That's practically its defining characteristic. Well, that and its tendency to indiscriminately devour everything it touches. So that's it. We failed. We didn't fail. Harlan? Does he want us to follow him? <laughs> I have no idea. But I'm going to. That point's long past. You're right. If only we had some way to travel back in time. Transmitting Drax protocols back in time won't help us here, Doctor. It's also impossible without a working FTL. For that plan to work, Jack will have to physically bring a counterpulse device back with him. Something he can't do digitally. I'm not talking about digital time travel. Oh. Oh, I see. Where have I seen this before? The Estrella's engine room. I believe that is one of the Estrella's FTL drives. I recall seeing a number of them while retrieving the fuel cell from the wreckage. What do you think, Apollo? Could it work? I'll need to run some models, but it's possible. What the hell are you two on about? I'll explain everything once Jack and I are on our way to the Estrella. We'd best get moving. Hold on! No one's going anywhere until one of you gives me something resembling an explanation. Captain Rose. No, if you want We're to send Jack use back out to that the plague FTL infested drive. garbage scout, you have to at least give a reason. And then he... But the something. Wait, the less chance we have <laughs> to succeed. Captain, I... I know I've already asked far too much of you both, but... I have taken this as far as it can go. I need your help to finish it. Oh. What do you need us to do? Jack, you and I will make our way back to the Estrella's drive bay. You'll need my assistance to unlock the FTL housing. Captain Rhodes, if you would remain here with Dr. Harlan, there's some specialized equipment you'll need to fabricate and assemble. Oh, brilliant. Opening airlock. Yeah, uh, I do everything. Dangerous. Good luck. Yep. Let us know when you've reached the Astrea. Peace Copy out. That. <laughs> Airlock cycling. Stand by. Watch yourself over there, Jack. Don't let those ticks give you too much hassle. I'm sure I'll be fine. Yeah, I know. I just like reminding you to be careful. So, be careful. Hey, look, it's this door again that we Before you ask, yes. didn't uh, notice. Yeah, this exact As door. Remember. remember this. Uh, I see the game is just saved. It did two seconds ago, in fact. And funny enough, you can't manually save. There's only auto saves. We need to make our way back to the Estrella, to so, the auxiliary driveway. Uh, yeah, they're going right, to talk You're a on little your bit. Way. I'm waiting for my explanation. We all agree, simply transmitting Jack's consciousness into the past won't work this time. However, if we were to appropriate one of the Estrella's remaining FTL drives, the Doctor and I believe we may be able to use it to return both you and Jack to the 22nd century. You're saying we might be able to go home? I'm reticent to make any assurances, but yes, I believe it is possible. 
Assuming at least one of the drives is still operational. I thought you said we couldn't access the drives because of all the biomass. That was before we had the counterpulse. Well, that's great, but do you have some way for Jack to administer it? Jack, make your way to the nearest fabricator. I have a new modification for your shell. Understood. Oh, there's one of these over here? I had no idea. Okay, yeah, uh, I was gonna say we're good, let's sign out, but, uh... Look at all the green stuff. What's that? We turn this on. Do, 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 do. You're our old self. We do all the old stuff we used to do. Data recovered. Network status. Connected. We're making good I don't think I took any time. damage. I don't know what we were doing. I was looking for the door because they were going to talk forever. Um, okay, well, anyway, the game saved. And it'll be a simple matter for me to get back here if I had to reload a slightly older save. But anyway, um, yeah, we got to go get a new thing and go to the Astrea and get the FTL drive somehow, which I guess is really big, but somehow we're going to carry that out of there or something. Or maybe we'll just use it in situ. I have no idea. But anyway, how do you hear? So, if you've been watching, thanks. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss future uploads. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.